What's good, what's good, and good early afternoon from Canada. Hope you're well. So we're gonna go over XRP. We're gonna go over some juicy news as well as the technical analysis for XRP. Um, so we're up 13% on the day. We're having that little bit of rollover that I talked about in yesterday's video, but we'll get into that. And then on the seven day, we're up that juicy 44%. And it looks like some whales are stepping in, but <laughs> we'll get into that as well. So uh, the market cap is sitting at 64 billion and the circulating or the 24 hour volume is 8.12 billion. So let's hop into this news guys. So what effect are the XRP, I'm just gonna close this, are the XRP whales having on its price? So stick with me guys, cause this is some juicy information. So XRP and Ripple have been in the news almost every other day over the past few months. Thanks to the development in the sex lawsuit, the token price appreciation since December. However, of late, the said buzz has been instigated by the market XRP whales. In fact, over these past few days, these whales have gone on to accumulate massive volumes of the token. So guys, that's a big reason why the price is driving upwards right now. So uh, you can see here, XRP whales have gone into a buying spree. Sentiment reveals that 19 new addresses with more than 1 million XRP have joined the network since April 23rd. So let me know your thoughts on that, guys. Do you think that's a good thing? Or do you think the whales could sell off and that could cause a dump in the price? I would love to know your opinion in the comment section. So further upward pressure could push this cryptocurrency to new yearly highs. So the surge in the number one so the surge in the number of large investors in XRP's market has been such that these whales now hold over 1.4 billion in this alt. The buying spree has also had a positive effect on the crypto market in general, with the alt often leading the altcoin rally over the past few months. At press time, the cryptocurrency has hiked almost 40% in the past weeks alone. Exchanges relisting XRP on their platforms due to a surge in demand or popular demand may have also played a crucial role in XRP's ongoing rally. All right, guys, so we'll get into the exchange that it has uh, recently been listed on. Uh, it was Phoenix. So take the case of Phoenix itself. After relisting XRP on Wednesday, the token's 24-hour volume on the exchange was well over 66 million. Supplementing the relisting developments in the ongoing lawsuit have also brushed off positively on the price of this altcoin. Uh, so we can see here the number of addresses that held more than 1 million XRP shot up but one, by 1.25% 1 and close to 19 whales have now joined the network over this period. That's insane guys, 19 whales holding more than 1 million XRP. Hopefully they don't all meet up for a poker night and they're like, hey guys, you wanna sell all our XRP at the same time and just screw up over the average Joe. I think that would be great. All right, Johnny, let's do it. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but I doubt it. But you never know. <laughs> um, and then we see here, apart from the XRP whales, uh, however, even Bitcoin whales have been accumulating the flagship crypto uh, with the same contribution to BTC recovering somewhat on the price charts. All right, guys, it's a big factor into why the XRP price has been climbing so beautifully lately. And let's just hope these whales hold on to their bed eggs and don't all know each other and have that little poker night <laughs> so i'll quickly show you guys we have phoenix um so it says boom we just listed eight new coins and they are now available on both spot and and contract trading um and we are so excited to bring the news to you and hope you enjoy our offerings and then they say, by the way, xrp is back winky face <laughs> all right guys so um, there's some information on why the XRP price has been doing so well lately. So I wanted to hop over into the technical analysis. So guys, we're here on the one hour chart um, for XRP. And I talked about in yesterday's video about us rolling over and finding support here at $1.54. On the Fibonacci, it's um, the 0.618, the golden ratio. So this is beautiful that we found support here, but we need to hold the support. We can see here we've fallen under um, the 20 EMA on the one hour, so we need to get back above that. But you can see here we've beautifully bounced off the 50 EMA, and the 50 EMA is catching back up to the candle. So that's what I'm hoping, and we're able to hold this support at $1.54 because that would be a beautiful sign that we'll start trending back upwards we can even draw our little uh, symmetrical wedge here and uh hopefully we squeeze 
and we start trending back upwards just as you can see here for xrp we need to hold this level it's crucial that we hold support here at a dollar 54 uh, the golden ratio so i'll show it to you guys on the one on the four hour chart do 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 so here we are on the four hour chart and we can see we have our bull pendant right here so what we want to see is we squeeze and then we're able to break out and then we can have a nice little climb up to a dollar 73 all right guys that's what we want to see we can see here on the four hour that the 20 ema is catching back up to the candles so what we want to see is we hold this support the 20 ema catches up and we're able to climb back up however if we do break this support what well, we'll most likely come back down and find support here at about a dollar 42 um, but it's looking great right now. I mean, we're seeing this beautiful uh, higher highs and higher lows. As you can see, here's your high, here's your next high, here's your low, and here's your next low. So um, it's beautiful to see to see that. That's exactly what we want to see on the chart. I'm going to quickly pop it over to the one day. Whoa. <laughs> so we can see here on the one day... Um, So we can see here on the one day we're a little bit overextended but not too bad it's beautiful to see um the 20 ema come back underneath the candles and i really hope we hold this support here at a dollar a dollar 54 so let me pull up the rsi and see how we're looking on the relative strength index here why is it always in purple <laughs> just let me change the color really quick for you guys so you can see it better I'll change it to white. Let's make it a little bit thicker. Uh, so we can see here that we're um, trending towards overbought, but I'm not too worried about that. It's sitting in a healthy range. Uh, if we scroll back on the RSI, we can see when we had our really big pump uh, right here that we were extremely overbought. So I'm not too worried about the RSI. It's looking healthy, guys. I'm liking what I'm seeing right now with the chart. Um, so look to see that we hold this support at $1.54. We're currently sitting at $1.56, so that's great. Um, and if we're able to break through this wedge here, uh, we can go to our next price target of $1.73, and then we can trend towards tackling uh, that price at $1.97, our high. And then our price target for XRP, our price prediction, is going to be up here at $2.64. And um, that's my price prediction for May. Um, as long as we take out this high here and we don't see that ABC correction, uh, things are looking great for XRP. Um, I'm loving hearing this news. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the whales. What do you guys think about so many whales stepping up? Do you think that's positive? Do you think that's negative? Do you think they're going to have a poker night? I would love to hear your guys' thoughts and opinions. All right, guys, that's it for XRP. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash that like button. It goes a long way. Leave a comment. And you can follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. You can check out the Discord, over a thousand members talking all things crypto. Patreon link in the bio. And I'll see you in the next one, all right? Much love. Take care. Mm -hmm.